Hello everyone on booktube, how are you today? I hope you're all reading madly. Um, I hope you didn't get, you know, you're all looking forward to 2017 and all the fabulous books that are coming out and all the fabulous books we're going to read. Um, one of the books I read at the end of last year was uh, The Little Book of Audrey Hepburn by Caroline Jones. This was sent to me by Carlton Publishing and I will admit I never read anything on Audrey Hepburn, although I have watched some of her films before. Got a nice pink, pink cover look. Quite nice. I like that. So, yes. Um, this was sent to me by Carlton Publishing. It is a very brief overview of Audrey's life and career, illustrated with some beautiful photographs. Um, for instance. I mean, and the photographs, they're tiny because it's a very, it is a very little book. But... They are beautiful photographs. So, and I mean, and it does show her doing her fabulous work for UNICEF when she got older. It tells you a little bit about her husband's and I'm out of focus. And her children. And it is just beautiful. Um, it tells about her influence on fashion um, and her collaboration with Givenchy, um, with the, the uh, little black dress from uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and from Mango, who made shoes and actually makes a ballet flat called the Audrey because she was very famous for those. She was a beautiful person, inside and out. Um, tells about her life after film. Like I said, they work for UNICEF because as a child in um, Europe during the Second World War, where she lived in the Netherlands, they were relying on things like UNICEF parcels. They suffered greatly and she always remembered that later on. So, of course, she supported them very, very much. This is a stunning photograph of her. And that was, when was that? 1992 absolutely gorgeous and then there is a picture of her swiss her grave in switzerland so when she died on 20th of january 1993 and she was just 63 she died of cancer and it is just a beautiful little little but beautiful overview of her life and career it's made me want to read more about audrey hepburn i will now hopefully this year be buying a full biography on her because i really really enjoyed this i want to know more about her as a person and her the work she did um <clears throat> with um unicef and just what a remarkable actress and person she was a model and dancer she was trained she could do everything and she was a different look in the 50s from the Jane Russells and Marilyn Monroe's and I love all of the 50 stars I love Jane Russell I love Marilyn Monroe I love Doris Day and Audrey Hepburn I wasn't I, I like Jane Mansfield but I'm not a huge fan of hers I do I like some of her films um I think she could have been more than she was but we're not talking about Jane we're talking about Audrey so I do love all those 50 stars, but Audrey, she was something different. She was something very special. Um, yeah. So I, I really uh, recommend you pick <coughs> this up if you can do, excuse me. It was a lovely little book. Four out of five. I really enjoyed it. A nice little tribute to a wonderful woman. And I can't wait to read more about her. So if you've read this, let me know in the comments below. Or if you know of a good biography on Audrey Hepburn, give me um some recommendations i know about audrey in the 50s and audrey in the 60s with photographic books which i've heard are brilliant so i'm hoping to get those but yeah if uh, they're already on my amazon wish list if you know of any full biography of her that is really worth reading please let me know in the comments below because i will be looking to pick something up fairly shortly so that's what i thought about audrey hepburn the little book of audrey hepburn i will be back soon with some more bookish videos i'm going to go and catch up on all my um the videos I need to watch and comment on. Um, I will see you soon. Please leave a comment, please subscribe, please share, give it the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye!